Hello and welcome back to our Revit Architecture 2009 CAD clips on our custom architectural beam family. Um, we left off just kind of flexing this beam and, uh, and uh, modeling the main part of the beam and now we're going to go in and model the kind of abutment parts of the beam. So we can click on our beam object here and say edit family and it opens up that family. Um, inside of there we're going to model this from the front view so it's an extrusion we're going to go to the front view of that beam we're going to zoom in here a little bit and we are going to uh, add in kind of the abutment so these are done with extrusion so I'm going to say solid form solid extrusion okay um, what I'm also going to do just before I start to sketch it is I'm going to set my work plane to be the front face of this watch set work plane and I'm going to say pick a plane hit OK and I'm going to hover over and pick on that now I'm drawing right parallel to the front face of that beam so I can zoom in here nice and close and I can take that line and I can drag down maybe you know how far do I want to go? Ah, I would say let's go a foot. Okay, and then I'm, you can make this any shape you want. It's really up to you. Okay, over, up, and to there, and then hit modify or escape. Now I'm going to do a little bit of modification by going line, and I'm going to use my um, fillet arc and uh, just to make it a little nicer. Click on here, drag that out. I want it to have about a two-inch radius three inches is too much so I'm gonna go back in here after I draw that and make it two inches pick on here pick on here move that down after you draw it click on here two inches enter click out hit escape escape zoom out a little bit there's my first abutment I don't like that I want to adjust it I can click on these click on these objects move that over as I please okay try to get it to be something you know not so bad aesthetically pleasing okay zoom in now I could go in and check my extrusion thickness and stuff over here I'm gonna do that after the fact I'm just gonna hit OK and I'm going to say finish the sketch okay and then I'll go look in 3d and see what I got 3d view oh look it came off of here instead of going the other way not a big deal close off my 3d view zoom out here go to my plan view okay now what I'm going to do is do an alignment so I'm going to say align to this reference plane not this edge to the reference plane this edge and lock it okay align to this reference plane this little edge and lock it hitting escape and escape okay go to a 3d view there's my 3d view Okay, take this guy, let's try flexing our model. Back to our family types. Let's change our beam width to be two feet and hit apply. Click, seems to be working. Uh, change our beam depth to be two feet, hit apply, seems to be working. Change our beam back to be one foot by one foot, hit apply. Close. Now technically I should probably check both sides of this are working. Okay, let's try it again. Flex the model. Let's just go one foot three by, you know, one foot 5.5. .5. Hit apply. So my beam's getting bigger and this little guy is staying right exactly where I want it. Okay, back to be one foot by one foot. Hit apply. Hit OK. Okay, I can close off that 3D view. Now let's go to the front view. Let's take this guy and mirror it to the other side so we go into here and we say mirror using sketch lines from the midpoint of here to here and click out okay now the tricky part here or the part we usually overlook is I need to realign these Okay, if I forget to watch what happens, I'll go to my 3D view and I'll and I'll take this view and move it over to the side in my family editor. 
and I'll say flex the model. Watch what happens. I'm going to change my beam width to be, you know, one foot five and then hit apply. Okay? Look at this guy. It's not adjusting properly. The depth is going to work. One foot five. Okay? Depth is going to work, but the widths aren't working. So I need to fix that. So I'm going to go back and say one foot by one foot, hit apply, okay, and hit OK. Close off my 3D view, okay, and I need to align that from a plan view, go up to here. Okay, this is the guy that needs to be aligned. So I need to go in here and say align to the reference plane, this guy, lock it. Align to this reference plane, this guy, lock it. Hitting escape and escape. Go to my 3D view. Okay. Let's even click on here and do a shift middle mouse button so we can look from the underside. Okay. Move that over. Isn't Revit wonderful? Okay. Pan over there. Flex the model. Go into here and say OK. Two feet by two feet. Hit apply. Click out. Although I wouldn't have a beam that big, but technically it is behaving properly. Okay. Before you load it into the project, you should always set your parameters back to the original um, kind of what you would want default sizes. So I'm going to go back to this and say one foot by one foot, hit apply, looks like it's working, hit OK, save it. Okay, that's flexing it within the family editor. Now I need to flex it in my project. Load to the project, it's going to say it already exists. Do you want to overwrite it? Absolutely, that's my whole point click inside here. Now I'm back in my um, my project file, okay? And the materials aren't following, which is fine, but the abutment is showing up, okay? So now let's try flexing the uh, beam from inside the project. Click on our beam, go over to here, change the... Uh, notice it retained the, the width and height from previous. I will change that to say 10 inches, and my beam depth is 1 foot 3. Hit OK. There you go, click out, and there's my beam with my abutments all adjusting perfectly. Okay, we're almost there. Let's go back in this lesson. Let's add a material parameter to these guys so they will also change to be the correct material. Okay, first thing I'm going to do while I'm in here, I'm going to pick on here, go to the properties, go to the beam material, and actually change that material back to be wood beam which I created myself. Okay, You can use any material in here. We'll show you how to add those materials and do a nice rendering a little bit later, probably in our last lesson. But if you don't have that wood beam, you can pick any wood material and then go to render and change that. It's up to you. We'll show you how to do that. I'm going to change mine back to be beam, wood beam. Hit OK. So now the, the main beam is following the materials. The abutment needs to be fixed. So we'll fix that clicking on my beam, back to my family editor, thank you, okay, go to a 3D view, a little easier, now watch what I'm going to do, I'm going to pick on these guys with my control button, and I'm going to simply grab those extruded objects and go to the properties of them and say, your material way over to the right here is being controlled by my beam material parameter I made in the second lesson, hit OK, done. No changes here. Okay, remember family types, I did make that beam material parameter, oops, beam material parameter over here. Beam material, material, we did that earlier. Okay, hit OK, hit apply, hit OK, click out. Now if I, I don't even have to save it, I have a habit of always saving before I push it out, but you don't have to. Load to the project, yes I want to, redefine it and magically that abutment is going to um, take on that material. Okay, so that's all I wanted to do in this lesson. In our next lesson we'll go back and add in a yes no visibility parameter which will allow us to be able to pick on this guy, go into here and turn on or off the right side or left side abutments. Again, the lessons we learn here you can apply to many other um, families. So tune back in with our next lesson. We'll teach you how to create a yes-no parameter and use that to control our abutment visibility.